Oh, what was the company's turnover rate? Okay, so I, I like you to keep this in mind. We do have an apprentice and student program. So for those who don't um, are looking to get their class A CDL, mm-hmm. um, we do experience a higher turnover rate there. But the primary reason is most of them come in and realize that truck driving is actual work. All you have to do is stay. What's going on, everybody? Lockout Man here again with another podcast for you right quick. My name is Lockout Man, and this is the Lockout Man podcast. And in this episode of the Lockout Man podcast, we're coming back with another MTC edition of the podcast. Yes, sir. Make the calls. This is the this is the episodes where I take time out to find out about these companies that you might be interested in, including myself, because they might be one of these calls. Yeah, actually, the company that I'm with now is, is came from an MTC call. So it do work. Yes, sir. If you like content like this and more, don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, share, and hit that bell and that all button for more so that when you know when the calls come out every Wednesday, and if, oh, by the way, it does come out every Wednesday around 5 o'clock p.m., around that time. But if you want to listen to the calls now, go to your favorite podcast, including the new Amazon podcast. You can go ahead and type in Lockout Men, and all the calls are there. You don't have to wait. But anyway, let's get into who I'm about to call today. And in today's episode, we're about to talk to who we're going to talk to. Vira, Vera, Vera, Vira, Vera, say it how it sounds. Vera, <laughs> say it how it sounds. That's what's up. That is what's up. Vera Trucking, they're located out of Marionette, Wisconsin. Yes, sir. If you guys interested in this trucking company, definitely give them a call at 715-732-4433. One, their website. Let's go to the bit board. Their website is clean, crisp. I like it. Vahira Trucking provides transportation solution in 48 states and parts of Canada. Our fleet is 250 plus drivers, mainly travels through the Midwest and Northeast for a variety of customers and industries. Today, our trucks haul everything from paper products to groceries. Uh, produce, pet food, auto parts, and much, much more. Uh, let's see. Let's let's go to their opportunities here. They are the 2018 best fleet to drive for. So this is one of the best fleets to drive for. Uh, Vahera Trucking. Uh, they offer Vahera Training Academy. So. If you don't have your CDLs, this might be one of the companies that you can call to see that can help you get it. They have a VIP apprenticeship program, a driver finishing program, meaning that when you come out of school, after you get your license, you'll be able to get with a trainer. They also have a CDL refresher course. So if you don't, if you haven't been out, you got your CDLs, but you haven't been driving for a while, this is probably a good company to come to to get back out into the fold. Uh, experienced drivers, of course, that's what it is. Job requirements is 21 years of age, motor record, I mean, motor vehicle record, work history showing a high regard for safety. C, I mean, F, FMCSA compliant, pass a pre employment drug physical, drug tests, and capacity evaluation. They also have position in Illinois, Indiana, Iowa, Michigan, Tennessee, Pennsylvania, Ohio, Wisconsin, Texas, and Minnesota. They got, as far as benefits goes, they got 401k, paid vacation, holidays, choice of standard or P, uh, per diem, insurance, medical card, vision, uh, supplemental insurance, company paid life insurance, free access to doctors, pets are welcome, 
and passengers are welcome. Well, with all that, uh, with all that, man, what, what can you say about Vahira Trucking? Except for lockout men. Let's get into the call. Good morning or good afternoon. How you doing today? Good. How are you? I am fine. Thank you. Thank you. How, how do you pronounce the company name? Is what? Vahira? Vahara? Viria. Oh, Viria. There we go. There we yep. go. All right. Well, my name is Sean. I'm a five-year truck driver, and I was just calling to see what you guys have to offer. Sure. If you... um, so the first question I'm going to oh. ask you, what is your zip code? 44108. 44108. All right. You are Ohio. Yes, I am. Okay. Um, so we... In that area, we would have a regional, which would be out five and five and a half, between five and five and a half days, um, with 48 hours of guaranteed home time. Or we'd have over the road, which is between 12 and 14 days out, with 72 hours of home time. Okay, okay, okay. If you, if I, and I appreciate that, uh, that you, that, that you, uh, coming on with me and, 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 and answering some of my questions. Uh, if you don't mind, I mean, I, I will, I will only take like a few minutes of your time to get Absolutely. a little bit more information about uh about what's available um can you give me a can you give me a brief background of the company right quick because i i've seen you uh, guys trucks out here but i i don't know much about the company so what are you kind of looking for like how long the company been in existence stuff like that okay um so actually um when the company first started out we started out with um want to say one, maybe two trucks, um, and it eventually evolved into um, what we have today. I believe it was in 1978, give or, give or take our year. Um, okay. So it, it, you know, we started with one or two trucks kind of involving in what we do in here. Um, it, so the original starter of the company was John Deria. Um, so when this all started, it was actually called John Deria Trucking, and eventually we dropped off John's first name. And um, then it just became very trucking. Um, okay. In the early 80s is when we kind of expanded into what we are now. His daughter, Karen, um, is the president. So we are woman-based. Um, you know, she does an awesome job with, okay. our, um, with our drivers. We are a little bit smaller of a company. Um, there's a little over 250 drivers that kind of run through the Midwest and the Northeast. A lot of... Um, our trucks are hauling paper products, um, crap, um, sometimes like grocery produce, pet food, auto parts, um, you know, it's, uh, amongst other things. Um, but we are mainly scrap, scrap and paper products. Um, so in, realistically, I, I just feel, and this is coming from like my personal opinion, um, I worked here two years ago and I left for a different opportunity and I found myself back here. Um, it's a very open open and effective communicating company they i mean i i enjoy coming to work i feel like a family i have made some of the best friends um you know being here and and truthfully we're just we're about family i, I mean whether it's family as in your work family or your home family um we, we value the time with your family we value um I, we, we just value your personal life as much as your work life. I notice uh, as I'm as I'm on the website right now, I notice that you guys have uh, very uh, very different uh, programs for uh, drivers out here. Uh, so you guys offer a CDL. Uh, C, uh, you offer CDL training for drivers that don't have CDLs. So we actually, um, we take in drivers that have gotten their learner's permit, and obviously they pass, pass their drug screens, things like that. We put them through an eight-week program. Um, we do it right here um, at the company for the first, um, between one to three weeks. We have them, you know, kind of doing some classroom training, some range training, and really work with them on that kind of stuff. Then our trainers here um, actually are all certified to technically present them with their CDL certificate. Then we send them back home. They go in, they get... They go into their local DMV. They bring in that certificate saying, hey, they passed the road skills test. Give them their CDL. They get their CDL. We have them go out with a trainer. By the end of week eight, we have them upgraded to solo drivers. Okay, okay. 
Uh, what's up? And and you guys offer a CDL refresher course too. So so for like drivers that haven't been that that do have their CDLs but haven't been but haven't been driving for a while, you guys uh you guys will bring them in and give them a, a refresher course. So the really awesome part about that is we have the refresher course, which yes, that would be you know if you've been out of the truck for three years and you know you're not totally comfortable, we will put you through that ref that refresher course just to make sure about a week long, make sure that you're comfortable, you know, bumping jacks, just being out on the road and, you know, because sometimes you lose touch a little bit, but it's a lot like riding the bike, you know, you don't really forget how to drive, but you might need a couple things that you have to work on. Um, so we do offer that, but we also offer a student program. So, you know, if somebody just graduated a month ago with their CDL and they don't have any miles under their belt as a solo driver, mm -hmm. we'll do the student program with them and then um, you know, just kind of assessing their skills, working with them on the things that they need to work on. And then we also get them up to a solo driver status. Okay. That's what's up. All right. So me back, back, back to me being uh, an experienced five-year driver uh, coming up to orientation, what might I have to bring and what, uh, and, and how would you guys get me up there? Um, the one thing that I really enjoy about our company is that is it a one day orientation. You get some companies where it's two, three days long, and we just really think that's a lot on the driver. Um, so should you know, should you come on board with us, we get you up to Marinette. We will actually rent you a vehicle, whether it's from Avis or Enterprise, wherever we can find close to you. Mm -hmm. um, and then you know, so typically our experienced drivers come in on a Tuesday for orientation. So we would get you that rental vehicle for Monday, have a place for you to stay Monday night, and then get you here on Tuesday, go through that orientation. So orientation is going to go over a lot of like safety videos. Um, you're going to meet with, you know, with your recruiter. You're going to meet with everybody from the company. You're going to kind of discuss with your fleet leader, which is our dispatchers, what's important to you, what you're kind of looking for. Um, and then from there, you get your truck and you're good to go. Um, right. But really, the only thing that you need to bring with you for orientation is like your social security card, anything you need typically for employment to prove that you are a United Who States you, citizen and right. you are legalized to work. All right. So, all right, that's awesome. So with uh, pre-employment, you know, you said it's one day orientation. So pre-employment, everything is done beforehand. Where, where, what do you guys do for uh, pre-employment drug screening? Is it urine or is it, uh, yep. oh, just urine? Well, it, truthfully, it depends on that clinic. So we just send it in and say, hey, we need a DOT drug screen for this driver. That clinic kind of decides what they're going to work with, whether it be hair follicle or urine, um, you know, whatever they have available to them. And then we also have a strength capacity test. So we send you in to kind of work with a resistance machine. Just make sure you have strong shoulders and strong knees um, that you're not going to get hurt out on the job. Um, so we have you pass that and then you know, if you have your physical done already, you have your medical card, we have you, um, we qualify that for you and we get you going. We, the reason that we can do the one day orientation with our drivers is because we have you watch like a lot of the safety videos and in the, in the things that you would normally do in an orientation kind of on your own time before you're here. So that's all said and done. So you can get out in your truck sooner. Okay. Okay. Now I'm, I'm now I'm kind of, I'm kind of shocked uh, at what you just said. As far as uh, strength training uh, uh, for, you know, for pre-employment, some of these guys out here that I see are not in the best of shapes. Um, so if if they have to do like strength, strength training or stuff like that, uh, and let's say you guys say, OK, we, we can't. Uh, we, we can't bring you in because of that. Is that sort of like discriminating against uh, a driver for for doing so for doing that? We're not discriminating based on, you know, their weight or their height or anything like that. We what we're testing for with that strength test is just to make sure that they can meet the requirements. So actually, when this IPCS test was first made and a lot of a lot of different companies implement this, we had somebody go out and test the resistance for pulling pins and, and different things for working with that truck. Now, sometimes, um, you know, if let's say somebody doesn't get the passing score on that, we might be able to, you know, work something out with them with like a strength conditioning program. 
But really, we are protecting the drivers from hurting themselves out on the job and, and, and making sure that our drivers are safe. Because, you know, I, I'll, for example, I am a 5'3 young woman who mm. is 112, now 160 pounds. Okay. I can tell you right now, me going out in that truck, I am not going to be able to pull those pins and stuff like like the safety guy sitting across from me who's, you know, six two and has done it. So really we're just making sure that you're capable and you have that strength in your shoulders and your knees to be able to do those things and to be able to do them without injuring yourself. Okay. Okay. All right. Awesome. Awesome. Uh what's the starting pay for for a five year driver such as myself? For a driver that um, a driver that doesn't have anything on their MBR um, that has clean employment history, and by that I mean you know you're not going from this job to this job to this job, um, and you know that you haven't been, really been terminated for safety reasons, things like that. Um, in, in that area, I would we'd probably be able to start them with a base pay of about forty eight cents a mile, and that's your perfect applicant. Um, and I've seen a lot of drivers come in at that top pay. Now, with that being said, that is that base pay, but we have a lot of opportunity for extra pay programs, congestion pay, short haul pay, um, different. I mean, there's a lot of different opportunities that we offer to add on to that. Um, so, you know, if it's somebody that is making 48 cents a mile and they're running a regional position anywhere between 2,300 and 2,500 miles, they're going to make about $12,000 gross, so before taxes. And, again, that doesn't include the extra pay programs in on that. Now, let's just say, for example, there was a three-cent extra pay program that they were working with. That puts them up another $50, between $50 and $75, just for whatever kind of load that they took that time. Okay. Okay. All right. That's what's up. Uh, what about a sign-on bonus? So we don't have a sign-on bonus, um, but we do have quarterly safety bonuses. So if you're performing well and, um, you know, you haven't had any discrepancies, we do have that. I don't know what the exact number of that looks like. Um, that's really something that the relationship with, with the fleet leader kind of works with. Um, after we kind of get you on board and, and get you going, we're kind of out of the recruiter's hand. We'll still have the connection, but the fleet leader kind of takes over more on that kind of thing. Um, so we do have that. And another question that I get a lot, benefits. We have 401k, we have life insurance, we have medical insurance, we have dentist or dental insurance, we have vision insurance. So we do have all of those benefits on top of it as well. Um, and the nice thing about it is that there are three different medical insurance um, plans. So, you know, if you are somebody that doesn't go into the doctor a lot, you have a cheaper plan, but a higher deductible. But if you're somebody that maybe does go into the doctor a lot, you have the option to take a little bit more expensive, but a lower deductible. Um, one of our recruiters here has been through chemotherapy and different things, and and she loves the insurance that we have. Personally, I don't really go to the doctor, so I don't need a whole lot of coverage on that. Okay. Um, so that is another opportunity as well. All right. Uh, are you guys, what, 1099 or W-2? W-2. Do you guys, ha do you guys offer lease purchase, though? We don't anymore. We found, um, so we did at one point, but we found that it, it really just wasn't working for our company and it wasn't effective. Um, the other thing that I do want to mention that I forgot to mention during all of this, we have um, a thing that we call G, G pay. So it's your guaranteed weekly pay. So what it's going to start out as a driver, you're going to get $900 a week minimum for those experienced drivers. Um, as you run further, let's say you average $1,200 a week and you know, consistently, let's say three, four, five, six months, you average that $1,200 a week. And all of a sudden on the seventh month, you know, you might fall short a couple miles because of our freight. You're still going to get that 1200 So that is going to be based on the average mileage and the accessorial pay earnings. Um, but that weekly minimum will kind of change. It, it won't decrease, but you do have the potential to increase it. And that kind of protects your income. Okay. Okay. So what uh, what else do we get paid? Do we get paid breakdown, holiday, detention, or layover? Yep. Yep. So we do have um, we do have six different holidays that are recognized, um, and we don't force you to work on those holidays. Obviously, if you chose to, that would be absolutely you know up to you. Um, will we so get we paid? Will, will we get? Pay. Will we get paid extra if we do work on those on those holidays? Do we still get? I'm going to be honest with you. 
do. I don't. I don't really know the answer to that. I don't. Okay. I, 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 unfortunately, I really don't know the answer to that. So that's that's something that I actually should see what I can find out about that. That's no problem. Um, but we do we do have the short haul pay for the contestant pay. Um, we do have a week of premium. So if you are starting your work week on a Friday or Saturday, um, it's an extra three cents per mile. We have hazmat pay, hazmat pay. Not that we have many hazmat loads, but that is always an option for those that do have their hazmat endorsement. Um, we have detention pay, stop pay, layover pay. Um, if you take a load into New York City, which doesn't very happen, and we don't force dispatch into, into New York, um, but should you choose, I mean, that's an extra opportunity. Breakdown pay, um, nighttime delivery pay. So there's a lot of different options based on what you're running. All right, awesome. You, you, now, you mentioned earlier, uh, about home time and you said it is if if I run the regional if I run the regional then I am guaranteed two full days off so that'd be come in Friday have my Saturday have my Sunday off and then come back on Monday right it is a guaranteed 48 hours yep okay. we would not force dispatch you during that 48 hours okay. like I said um, you know kind of when we were talking about the company mm-hmm we value home time. You know, I'm lucky enough that I get to go home every night. I get to see, well, I don't have kids, but I get to see my boyfriend. I get to see my dog. I get to see them every single night. You know, okay. our drivers, you know, when they, they take that leap into that career, they don't always have that opportunity. So that home time we do value and we do make sure that you're going to get that home time. Okay. That's what's up. Awesome. What kind of equipment you guys have in the fleet? So we are transitioning to an automatic fleet. Um, so we do have some manuals. We do have some automatics. As we are, you know, keep progressing throughout the next couple of years, we do plan on being a fully automatic fleet. Um, our trucks are all within the five, six-year period. Um, so no truck is older than between five and six years. We run Volvos and Freightliners. Okay. Um, so a lot of, like, our manual trucks are, like, our home daily trucks. Um, so, like I said, as we move forward, we, we are going on that, but the trucks are on a five-year trade cycle. So okay. our average age of our of our trucks is about three years old. All right. What amenities are in the truck? Um, so they come equipped with the e-logs, um, a mattress, and then for our drivers that are out for a little bit longer, we do kind of work with direct TV. Um, so, you know, if we have a driver that's out for those two weeks, um, Typically, we can probably get just about a free rate. Um, then we do have, like, the drivers with the weekly home time. We do have, you know, a little bit worked out with direct TV on them, too. There's a little bit more of a weekly fee just because they're not out there, you know, quite as much as the other ones are. But we do have that, you know, kind of as an opportunity after that wait period um, of 60 days of employment. Um, the trucks all have the auxiliary bunk heaters. Um, they have bunk heating cooling systems. They kind of run on a separate set of batteries. Um, so it's idle free. And then, um, if, you know, if it's extremely hot or if it's extremely cold, we do have the option for you to call into your fleet leader and, and get approved for um, like a like an idle approval. Oh, OK. All right. Um, so we we have to ask to idle our trucks. Yep, because we do have the, the bunk heating cooling system that run on the separate set of batteries, so you don't have to have, so it is idle free. So, you know, if something, if there's extreme heat cold, you just call into your fleet leader and they approve it for you. Um, but because we do have that option it, as part of the amenities, we do try and keep our idle time down, oh. down to a minimum. Oh, okay. Wow. <laughs> that kind of, that, that kind of struck yeah, that kind of struck a chord with me right there because I, you know, there's, you know, probably some times that what well, I, I was in a truck that the, that the I or the, the, the system didn't work. It was a, it was the a APU system didn't work. And, you know, I, I needed my truck to stay on. Unfortunately, the company that I, that I worked at, you know, the, the idle system cuts, I mean, the, the truck cuts off, within five minutes and then you had to like literally sit up in the driver's seat to, you know, you know, the rev on the, you know, rev on the uh, accelerator in order to, you know, keep the truck from, you know, cutting off. But 
Yep, and as we're getting, like, some of our newer trucks in, um, you know, they have a lot more technology with being able to kind of work on those things. Um, so, like, our new equipment for 2018, for example, um, we have that optimized idle. Um, that'll kind of stop and restart the engine um, to keep the engine oil temperature between those, those factory limits and, and to keep the battery charged. Um, but then it would also keep the, the cabin sleeper or the passenger area at the desired temperature. Um, so, I mean, with those techno- technological advances, it, it does. we do have the opportunity for those kind of things to be able to kind of advance those idle times and things like that. Okay. All right. That's what's up. That's what's up. All right. Um, what about uh, driver cams? Do you guys have that in the truck? We do. Um, so we they are outward facing and frontward facing, and the only time that we will ever see anything is if in case of an event. So, you know, if you have a hard break because somebody slammed on their brakes in front of you, and the the one thing that we have found is that it really does truly protect our drivers. You know, I from experience, um, I've seen people cut drivers off all the time, all the time. I've seen drivers cut people off and you know if an accident happens where they get rear-ended we have that proof because that happened the the other opportunity that we have other than those events um is we have like a safety button that's like what i would like to call it you click that button and it'll it'll get that 12 second clip you know should you be worried that something's happening um so in the in case of an event what happens is the company that we run through for these i truly don't even know the company um but the company that we run through for these, and it's in California, you know that, you'll get that 12-second clip. It'll be sent to that company in California. They'll review it, and if they think it's something that we truly need to, to look at and it really is a safety concern, they send that 12-second clip off to us. Okay. With that being said, we do have, you know, we have the the drivers that stay out in the truck, um, and that is your home. So when you're not driving, we do allow you to put, like, a baseball cap or something over that camera so that you feel that you have your privacy during that time. Okay, okay, that's what's we, up. We can't see anything. Like, you know, if you're out on the road, I can't just say, oh, I want to go creep on John Smith and see what he's doing. No, we, we can't see anything like that. That's actually illegal. We can't just record you. Um, and, and it only goes off during those heartbreak events or if you click that button so that, you know, we truly have that protection for you. All right, all right. So uh, how... I- I, I I hate beating up people. I mean, I hate beating up the name, but Vahira, v- Vahira, Viria, yep, Viria, Viria, Viri. Yep, yep. There you go, Viria. Okay, okay, cool, cool, awesome. Well, listen, I I want to I want to say thank you. I I do uh, appreciate you taking the time and uh, going over oh, some of the welcome. questions that I had for the. Uh, that I have for you and, and get a little bit more insight uh, on the company. My last question deals was like driver safety in the light of all the stuff that's going on out here. You guys is based out of Wisconsin. So, you know, yep. you guys just previous, you know, Wisconsin just had their own heated issue with uh, violence and, and looting and yep. stuff like that. Uh, how do you guys protect your drivers uh, with uh, lows going into high risk cities? So with that kind of thing, you know, when that all happened in Canosa, which I just, you know, it, it floored me because I hear so many things like this happening and it just, it was like, wow, this really does happen close to home. Um, so with that being said, um, we do send like those messages out. We do try to keep them out of those areas during that time. Um, so, like with the, the e-log tablet, we have different um, opportunities for communication kind of within them. Um, so like a mobile com that like you can communicate with your fleet leader and stuff, basically like texting. And usually your fleet leader in no more than 10 minutes will get back to you um, with those kind of messaging. But our safety team does, they're vigilant about keeping an, an eye out for that kind of stuff. And they will send a safety message out. Um, You know, something might be happening that you don't even know is happening because you haven't been able to watch the TV or you haven't been listening to the news on the radio. They will send those messages out to help you avoid that situation. Okay, that's what's up. What about uh, what about what what's your policies on firearms, though? You know what? Truthfully, I'm not sure that there is one set in place um, for us. I think we just abide by like what the FC, the FM. 
CSA will allow. Okay. Um, so whatever federally kind of allows, I think that's kind of what we work with. All right. And uh, last but not least, man, and I know you, t- and I know you telling me because you know you're you're a recruiter. You want to tell me all the good stuff about the company and all like that. But what is what is you guys turnover rate? Let me pull it up. See what our current is. Okay, so I pulled Savannah over. She kind of knows those numbers a little bit better than I do. So I'm going to have her talk to you real quick, and she can kind of fill you in on that. Okay. Okay. Hi, this is Savannah. Who am I speaking with? Uh, this is Sean, ma'am. How you doing? Oh, I'm good. How are you doing? I'm all right. I'm all right. I was just uh, asking, uh, you know, me and me and uh, me and the young lady was having such a great conversation. Um, I was just kind of curious to know what was the company's turnover rate. Okay, so I, I like you to keep this in mind. We do have an apprentice and student program. So for those who don't. Um, are looking to get their class A CDL. Mm-hmm. Um, we do experience a higher turnover rate there, but the primary reason is most of them come in and realize that truck driving is actual work, and then they leave. So I would say the majority of our turnover really is our student program. Mm-hmm. Um, with comes to like our apprentice or our experienced drivers, um, right now it's about forty percent. Okay. Okay. Cool. Cool. Yeah. So it's, it's not bad. You know, majority of our turnovers really are safety related reasons. You know, um, accidents, you just, you know, there are bad accidents out there. And if it comes down to goals, get out and look, and that's what they're not doing. And if it's multiple, you know, preventable accident after preventable accident, um, we do term them. You know, there's it's any company is like that, especially when it comes to safety reasons. Mm-hmm. But our majority of our turnover rate really does come down to our students. Okay, cool. Awesome. Well, thank you. Thank you for that. I You're appreciate welcome. I'm that. I'm going to give you back to Desiree then. And All right. She, Desiree, sometimes when she doesn't know any answers, she comes to me. So I'll give you back to Desiree, let you guys go on with your conversation, okay? That, that'll work. That'll work. Thank you very much. You're welcome. All right, perfect. I All think right. you would have that little bit number a little bit better than I would for you. Well, not a problem. I appreciate you uh, taking the time to find out about that as well. Well, that's all I have. That's that's all I have right now. I will take I will take all this information that you have given me, and uh, I would go ahead and you know you know compare it to other places I call, and I would also share this on my uh, on my social media as well as where I network with okay. a lot of truck drivers. So, so thank you very much, ma'am. I appreciate it. And the name of the company is what You're now? Welcome. It's Viria. Yep. Viria. <laughs> See what I'm saying? Yep. Vi- Viria. V- say it like yep. it sounds. Sound like I say it. Viria. <laughs> <laughs> yep. All right. Thank you, ma'am. I appreciate right. it. You're welcome. Have a great day. Say it like it sound. Say it like it sound. Viria, everybody. Viria Trucking out of Marionette, Wisconsin. If you guys is interested in Viria, definitely give them a call at 715-732-4431. Or you can email them at driveforus at viria.com. So what do you guys think of that call right there, man? Uh, I I, I want to say that call was excellent. I mean, she was fire. She she was fire too, man. She was fire. She was excited. You know what I'm saying? Gave me all the information I need to know. And and as far as the turnover rate, she didn't know, but she went and got somebody to answer that question for us. So thank you very much for that. Their turnover rate about forty percent. You know what I'm saying? You you know you got got to ask questions like that because if they have like a high turnover rate or or it's in the stratosphere, then you got to think to yourself, why? You know what I'm saying? You got to think to yourself, why? And is that the company that you want to drive for that they have such a high turnover rate? Is it a company that you want to drive for? I mean, they start at 48 cent a mile. They don't have no sign-on bonus. So this is probably one of the particular companies that, that has, you know, that has a good, uh, good variance with their drivers 
if if you notice sometimes with companies that have um a sign on bonus and if it's like in the in the thousands or so you got to wonder to yourself like why is you giving a $7,500 sign-on bonus? Why are you giving a $10,000 sign-on bonus? Why is the sign-on bonus is so much? You know what I'm saying? It could be because they can't keep drivers. So that's about it. Viria, say it how it sounds. So if you guys are interested in Viria, definitely give them a call. And on this note, man, that's it for this episode of Lockout Men Podcast, man. The MTC edition. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. If you guys like content like this and more, don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, share, and hit that bell and that all button for more. You know what I'm saying? If you guys like what I'm doing, support the channel. Hook me up with some coffee, man. The coffee app and the cash app is in the description below. And on that note, I am your humble host, Lockout Men. Thank you for watching. Thank you for listening. I really do appreciate it. You guys stay tuned for the next episode of Lockout Men Podcast, the MTC edition, which comes out every Wednesday. But after, let me see, it comes out every Wednesday, but you can catch all the episodes on your favorite podcast, including the new Amazon podcast. So if you have Amazon, Google, Apple, you can catch me on there. Type in Lockout Men. And also, I would like to say big ups to uh, Trucker's Path. If you don't have that app, you need to download it. Trucker's Path. Everything you need to know as far as, 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 far as what's going on, as far as parking, CDL jobs, navigation, Trucker's Path. Make sure you get it. Until next time, people, y'all take it easy, and I'll come back at you with another video. Peace. Searching, 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 and searching.